Um, actually, I feel like way better than I ever thought that I would at this point. Now that I'm no longer in the game and I didn't win the million dollars, you know, a lot of people get really bummed out. But um, really, I feel really good about everything that happened, and I can't really think of hardly anything negative relating to this experience whatsoever. I'm just absolutely thrilled about everything that happened. It's really hard to put into words what an experience on Survivor is like, but um, I just, you know, I've finished this game feeling like I gave it, you know, 110% every step of the way. I don't regret anything that I did or the way that I did it or who I did it with. I feel like I have gotten the the fullest experience I can possibly get out of this opportunity. I mean, I've had the chance to be a part of um, all of the landmarks that take place in this game. I mean, first of all, making it through the first challenge and being on the tribe who wins that first challenge, an 11-mile jungle trek, that really makes you feel like you're made of way more than you ever expected. Um, being a part of the tribe mix-up and then the tribes merging and uh, being able to win rewards and, you know, participate in that aspect of the game, know what it's like to be the winner of a reward and go on a feast, um, to know what it's like to be um, to be a part of having a family member come out here and share this experience with you, to know that there's somebody else in the world that's very close to you who is going to know so much about how you lived and what your experience was like. Um, also, I want a car, <laughs> which just still at this minute, I don't even know if, if my brain has been able to accept that that even happened. Um, and then, you know, to be on the jury, I mean, really, other than winning the game, I've gotten to experience every major aspect of this situation, and I just am ecstatic. I mean, I really, I can't think of anything that I could possibly complain about other than not winning. I do think this is the toughest survivor ever. Um, several reasons. Um, the biggest thing is going to be the environment that we had to live in. It was insanely hot. Um, you know, average it would not be unusual for it to be 120 degrees in the middle of the day. And that's, you know, usually times when we have our competition, you know, challenges for reward, challenges for immunity. Um, that's, you know, obviously not the best time to be doing anything physical, and we had to do so as well. Um, under the extreme heat, you haven't slept well because of the mosquito situation. Um, your, your body is dehydrated. Yes, we drink water, but it's still not enough to function even a normal life situation much less in the 120 degree heat um, our nutrition is much lower than it would be in real life so again heat dehydration mosquitoes lack of sleep all really create a combination that just is very difficult to not only survive and thrive in but to just simply exist um, the food situation Basically, we have existed 36 days, some people 39 days, on corn. And halfway through the game, we um, were given the awareness of uh, the Ramon nuts that we could also utilize for nutrition. So nuts and corn is what your body is functioning off of. We were not given anything. You know, a lot of times when a merge comes along to bring a sense of community to a merge, you get a little basket of goodies. Or your loved ones come and spend the night at camp, they give you a little basket of goodies in, in celebration. We didn't get any of that. Nothing was given to us. We had to earn every last scrap of anything extra that we got. And, you know, to get water, we had to travel down a huge steep hill just to get the water and carry it all the way back. I mean, everything seemed like, in comparison to other survivors, that it took double the effort and... uh it just really wears you out in this kind of environment. So everything seems so much harder. This experience is nothing but real. We really are not given any luxuries whatsoever. I mean, the rewards really are so few and far between that um, it's not like, you know, at home you have a, a holiday or a special occasion and you go out to dinner and you eat way more than you're supposed to. 
I mean, you know, most people don't have lunch, and by dinner they're cranky and irritable and anxious to have a meal. You, you miss one meal in a normal day, and that can do that to you. So imagine going a week or two weeks, you know, even 39 days, and you get four good meals, four good rewards. What that's going to do to you, it's, it's everything. I mean, everything that, that people are going to see is real. There is... Uh, um, I mean, the mosquitoes are real. You can see people's skin, and when you see a thousand bites on one person's arm alone, that is real. Um, the heat, not manufactured, that is real stuff. And there are people who have played this game this time around who have said never in their lives have they thought that that would be their last day on this planet simply because of the heat. Some of us have come closer to just... Um, downright physical exhaustion in a medical extreme than in this game. I've never felt the depletion and uh, the heat exhaustion that I've, you know, experienced in this game ever in my life. Um, you know, just the luxury of turning on your faucet in the kitchen and getting a glass of water. Some people won't do that in real life because it's not filtered. It's not cold in the refrigerator. If we had a faucet to turn on and drink water straight out of that, that would have been a luxury to us. We would have absolutely been thrilled beyond belief. So imagine having to haul a huge clay pot, you know, all the way down a huge hill in extreme heat, bring the water back. It has to boil on a fire that you have to build, and you have to collect the wood, and then you have to let it cool, and then you drink it, and it's still got chunks of sand and bugs in it. So there's nothing about this game that isn't real. It is um, real to an extreme. The only thing that I can really find um, a negative note in throughout this game was the day um, that Danny and um, Judd and Stephanie came back from a reward that also involved Gary. They were put together as a team, and they won a reward where they got to go away for the night. And they came back and told me that Gary had stated that neither Lydia nor myself deserved to be in this game, that we were just sliding by and didn't deserve to be here. And that really hit a nerve with me on a very serious note because I don't feel that, like, if you make it through the first challenge here, the 11-mile jungle trek, I don't feel that it is right to say that anybody doesn't deserve to be here because that alone is more than the most of society could ever accomplish. And at that point, you have definitely earned the right to be here. And at that point in the game, we were pretty far along. Again, to say that we didn't deserve to be here, I just found that to be very personal and very unnecessary when it comes to playing this game. Do not need to make statements like that. Um, you know, and, and the fact that someone had misjudged my character to the point that they actually thought I didn't deserve to be here. You're telling me I don't deserve to live the biggest dream I've ever had? Really? really struck a nerve with me. I was very disheartened that someone could misjudge my character to that point and not know me any better than that. I do not believe in the curse of the car. I know Jeff said no one in 10 seasons of Survivor who wins a car ever wins a million bucks. I do not believe in the curse whatsoever. I do not believe that winning the car had anything to do with, you know, my demise in the game, with me being voted out. I think the plan was set before I won the car. And, you know, as, as long as I didn't have immunity, it was going to be carried out. So, again, I made the most of the situation, and I left the game with yet another amazing experience and a brand-new car. So, I mean, heck of a lot better than surrendering that or losing that reward and, you know, going home anyway. So, um, yeah, I don't believe in the curse of the car. Actually, I'm thinking that this curse of the car is actually a blessing because I got more out of this experience by winning that car than I would had would have had if I hadn't. So it's more of a blessing than a curse if you really look at it the right way.